What's going on, Gato Squad? Beautiful day out today, taking advantage of it, getting shit done. So, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's, uh, it's gonna be a good day. And I wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of things. First, let's, let's take a look at the Type R. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the sticker that I put on. Hit me up, Instagram, Flying Gato. YouTube, of course, Flying Gato. Here. You gotta be symmetrical, right? Instagram, YouTube, that's right. Anyway, so today I wanted to show you guys a couple things. Uh, mainly, I want to show you guys how this car is on a daily basis. So, I daily drive this car, I take care of all my uh, my things in this car. So, I gotta go to UPS, the bank, I gotta do a whole bunch of crap. I gotta go to my allergy doctor, get my shot. So, uh, let's get started. One of the things that I love about this car, put your hand there, open it, that's it. It's good to go. Starting it up, clutch in, beautiful, love it, love it, let's get these windows down, it's hot today, hot, trust the radio detector on, let's do it, alright, we're setting off here, Whew. hot day, I'm enjoying the heat, so I can't enjoy it anymore, because winter is coming, it's Game of Thrones, <laughs> oh yeah, so, when, I, when I'm around town and stuff like that, I like to leave the car in sport. I do like to uh, have a little bit of fun. Even if I'm in town, a little bit of traffic, not a big deal. And uh, yeah, so I haven't uh, been posting the last couple days. I missed a couple days of posting because it took, it took a couple days off. You know, I got a haircut, basically recharged the batteries, spent some time with the family, and uh, started uh, getting the house ready for winter and for a possible hurricane. So Hurricane Irma was kind of a threat to the Northeast. I don't think it is anymore as of today. But uh, in just in case there's another hurricane coming, I'm like, you know what? I gotta cut down a whole ton of trees. So I spent the whole day yesterday just cutting down trees with my pops. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. So uh, yeah, I haven't uh, posted in the last couple days and that's why, but get ready for daily content going forward. Uh, I'm gonna try to post uh, pretty much every day except for Sunday. Gotta have one rest day, right? So, that's right. We're in a bit of traffic here. The car's perfectly comfortable in traffic. You know, people that complain about stick shift and traffic, they don't know. They don't know what they're talking about. As long as you know how to drive stick shift, it's not a big deal. I don't even think about it. Seats are comfortable. Nothing to complain about. In here let's talk about visibility this car's visibility is excellent i want to mention one thing on visibility actually uh, it's great in this car so you got a nice big windows on the sides on the back nice big windshield you know you don't get that that same problem i had on the challenger you can see back there great visibility the only real issue is that back there a little uh the, i guess you call it the c pillar um, but you know you've got these big mirrors to kind of handle that and then you have the view out the back now sitting here in the in the driver's seat you can barely even notice there's a wing you take a look right there you don't even see the wing for the most part one of the best things about owning a type R is you get to walk to your type R every time you get out of it I love looking at it. Let's do a little walk around. Ah, so good. 
All right, let's keep going. Love that, love that. So one of the best things about this, plenty of cargo space, I just dropped some, some stuff off at the UPS. Look at this cargo space, man. I can put in so many boxes. So all the errands are done. Time to head back to Pennsylvania. It's about an hour drive back. Now to set up, let's see how I do it. It's very simple. Very, very lovely. Take my phone, pop it on there, bam. Plug that in. There we go. Got the audio. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't need that right now. Get the Android Auto going. And then make it home. Just hit that right there, home, boom! Takes a little time sometimes. And that's it, that's all she wrote. Let's head out. You hear all that gravel? It's just part of the ownership. Potholes, too. comfort mode we're set to go on the highway I've said it before this has an adaptive steering system and uh, it works really well so you know you don't have to it's not as twitchy as a sport hatches twi uh, steering but uh, when it uh, especially when you put it in comfort mode it gets very very comfort comfortable <laughs> no other word for it this makes a great daily driver I can't wait to get my tires and rims uh, wheels. I know you guys give me crap for calling rims wheels. It's the same thing to me, guys. Come on. This shifter is amazing.
how it's suited, as you'd imagine, the Type R, while I think it makes a great daily driver, it does have its own unique set of conditions that you have to keep in mind every time you drive it. So first and foremost, because of the wheels and tires, uh, because of how large the wheels are and how small the tires are, you really got to watch out for potholes and bumps. Now I always do, you know, I've always, I've driven around a very lowered Honda Prelude uh, for a long time, so I'm very, very acutely aware of all the potholes and how to avoid them and all the strategies and things like that. But I think even more so for this car, you have to be very careful because um, even potholes and bumps that you would normally kind of not care too much about, you really have to be careful. Um, there are even there are even bumps along uh, the highway that take up the whole highway. You have to slow down for it. You know, you can't be going 70 miles an hour going going to hit them. You have to go to 50 miles an hour, 55 miles an hour, just to make sure you don't hit them too hard. This is the other reason why I drive always on the highway. I always drive in comfort mode so that the suspension is more pliable. Not only is it more comfortable, but it's also better for the longevity of the, the, the tires and the wheels so that you don't get a, a bent in them. That will change as soon as I change the, the wheels to a smaller, smaller wheel size, meatier tire. Uh, it'll be the same diameter as the, the wheels and tires that I have now. It'll just have more wheel, less rim, so hopefully it'll be more pliable and more comfortable for these, uh, these, these day trips. Another thing you gotta keep in mind is that this car does gather a lot of attention. So driving down the road, you know, people will be, you know, next to you staring at your car, they're looking at, at your car. And, you know, the stickers don't help, obviously. People are looking at the sticker, trying to read the sticker. You know, some I've seen some of them, you know, taking a picture of the car while they're driving, you know. So you gotta keep in mind that people are doing that and kind of be aware that they may not be paying attention to driving as much as they usually would. Uh, miles per gallon. So miles per gallon is actually very, very good for, for what the car is. Uh, you know, as long as you keep the foot out of it, you, you keep it, the turbo basically off, uh, you, uh, you're you gonna be in, uh, in around 25 to 30 mile an hour range. Uh, sorry, 25 to 30 miles per gallon range. And right now I'm getting around 31 miles per gallon. And that's mainly highway driving, but even some ta around town driving. That's actually very impressive. 31 miles per gallon is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, that's because I basically have not driven it too hard and uh, just taking it easy, you know, take getting things done. So uh, I've been using the car as a daily driver and it's actually really, really good as a daily driver. Very surprising. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard it, but I, I tried to show you guys the, the gravel that picks up the tires, especially when they're warm. It's a hot day today. Uh, they get quite sticky, which is great for traction, uh, but they pick up a lot of gravel. So that's something you got to keep in mind. Uh, I always say, you know, it's something people are not used to. Uh, if you have, if you have, if you're drunk, going down basically a gravel road, you have to make sure you go slower than usual because it will basically sandblast the, the paint off your car if you're not careful. So something to keep in mind. And uh, with that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I love the car, great daily driver. Uh, when I get the new wheels and tires, it's gonna be an even better daily driver. Uh, maintenance cost, it's, it's, it's a Civic at the end of the day, so it's not gonna be too much. So, yes, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, put them down below. Happy to talk to you guys, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.